Hi, my name is Erica Weich, and I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner in the bone marrow transplant and CAR-T program at Children's National. I'm going to talk to you about what the process of CAR-T looks like here at Children's. Once your oncologist determines that CAR-T may be an appropriate treatment for you or your child, then we'll schedule a visit for you to come to Children's to meet our team. Our team includes an attending physician from both the bone marrow transplant team and the leukemia and lymphoma team, a nurse practitioner, nurse coordinator, child life specialist, and a social worker. At this meeting, you'll be introduced to our program and receive some education about what the treatment entails and an estimated timeline specific to you or your child. You'll also meet a member of our apheresis team who will discuss the process of collecting the T-cells. Typically, a special central line is required to be able to collect the cells, and this is placed by our interventional radiology team. After the line is placed, you would be admitted to the hospital for collection. During collection, your child will need to stay very calm so that the machine can work properly to collect the cells. Depending on the age and developmental level of your child, some kids will need to be collected in the pediatric intensive care unit so that they can get medication to make them sleepy or calm. The collection typically takes a few hours and afterwards that temporary central line would be removed and you'd be discharged back to your primary oncologist. The cells are sent to a lab to be specially trained to fight leukemia or lymphoma. This manufacturing process can take around four to six weeks. During this time, you or your child may get chemotherapy to help keep the disease under control while we wait for the cells. This plan is determined by your primary oncologist. Additionally, we would schedule some testing to make sure that your child's organs are healthy and able to receive the CAR T cells. This workup includes blood work, a brain MRI, bone marrow, lumbar puncture, and a cardiac evaluation. There's also an education session with a nurse practitioner and nurse coordinator to review what to expect before, during, and after treatment with CAR-T. Once the cells are ready, we would admit you or your child to the hospital to begin lymphodepleting chemotherapy. The goal of that is to make space for the new supercharged T cells to do their work in the body. Typically, this would entail four days of chemotherapy followed by infusion of the CAR T cells. A standard duration of admission is about 21 days, during which we are monitoring you or your child for any side effects and treating it accordingly. When you're ready for discharge from the hospital, you would be required to stay within one hour of Children's National for the first 30 days after the CAR T infusion. If you don't live close to Children's, our social worker can help set up local housing for you. You'll then be seen in our clinic at least two times a week where we'll be assessing for delayed side effects from treatment and then reevaluating the response to CAR T at various time points after the infusion. The first time where we would do a bone marrow or LP evaluation is day 30 after the infusion. Depending on future treatment plan, you would either continue to be followed by our CAR T cell team at Children's National or return to your primary oncologist for continued monitoring. Thank you so much for your time and we really value your interest in our CAR-T program at Children's National.